welcome back. Today's episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Man, try your first one for as low as 10 bucks. There's a link in the description for you guys. If you guys have not tried this yet, they send you different baits each and every single month, catered for the season and the area you want to fish and the species you want to catch. We absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and talk about what we have going on today, as well as throwing some of these baits out of this box. We've got you guys sitting on top of a box the Guggen Squad sent us, man. I'm super pumped. I have no clue what is inside of this. It's got some decent weight. It's even got a little, kind of a little jingle. I have no clue what's in it, but we are gonna hold out till the end of the video to open this thing up. Until then, we gotta go get the hot tamale man out of storage because Devin and I are taking a trip down to Austin, Texas tomorrow. We're gonna link up with Jay Gone Fish and then Jared. You guys know both of them. You've seen them on previous episodes, but we're gonna be hanging out with them, hitting a couple lakes down south, probably throwing some baits out of these boxes. So I've got the polish right here. We're gonna go ahead, get the boat, get it cleaned up and ready, do some bank fishing, and just have a bunch of fun on today's video, y'all. Come along. Uh, uh, or just had a conversation with a guy named Pete that we all know. Is <laughs> well, y'all, quick update. We're at the car wash. We're getting out to fish. We're going to be meeting up with Ryan Rigged. Maybe turn on a little light in here for you guys. Getting the tundra cleaned up for the Austin trip. Here comes the fun part. We got the mystery tackle box in hand. We're ready to go crush it on the banks. And it's going to be it. We're going to have a good time, man. But first, probably grab a little chicken sandwich. Just scooped up the goods. Thank you guys for all the positive comments on the McDonald's video, by the way, guys. That was actually a pretty fun video to make, and a lot of y'all enjoyed the skateboarding. Are telling me I need to incorporate more skating in the videos. I really just need to, really, I just don't want the camera being in static positions like I had it at the skate park too much, so I kind of just want like a filmer, you know? I don't really want to bug Devin to come and film me at the skate park all the time, so I guess I need to bug one of my skater friends. But yeah, I do think we could create some sick content at the skate park. Anyways, I'll meet this Chick fil A. Ryan's on his way. We about to get after the fish. New car, racing, fast lane, pacing. All right, all right, man. We have pulled up to the destination. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the sponsor today, Mystery Tackle Box. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that you guys can try out your first Mystery Tackle Box for 10 bucks. Share for a chance to win prizes from Mystery Tackle Box by measuring your catches and submitting them with the hashtag MTBKeeper. What we have in this month's box is a topwater, very similar to a Whopper Plopper. This is the Weston Hypno Twist. This is one of those baits I've never tried until getting it in a Mystery Tackle Box. We've got some Eagle Claw Trocar Hook Shuttle Jigs. I have never used these. I assume they're like jigs that are meant for swimming, so we'll have to see what's up with that. Black and blue's nice, because I, I think they like that color here. Then we got a red crank. All right, we got a red crank bait. This is by Yoziri. I've been liking the, their pencil bait. I've been using their top water, so this is gonna be a shallow diving square bill. I caught a lot of fish at this place when I first started making fish, fishing vlogs on a shad style crank bait in a 1.5 inch size. So that could slay, but if not, we also have a shad colored crank bait in this box and it is a flat banger. So we're gonna be throwing this thing around, trying to get us some fish on there. And then we've got some soft plastics, black and blue, they're like a jerk bait. They're called, they're called scam shads, but they basically just get worked like a jerk bait. See if we can't catch anything on those. And we've also got some harmony hooks, which I will probably rig those up on. So you got some hooks to throw on any baits you want in this month's box. You've got some plastics to get you going. You've got a top water and you've got some crank baits to cover water. So this box here has really got all you need to fish the fall. We are gonna go ahead and get into it. Remember, try your first box for 10 bucks, man, with code Weston. Literally the Weston Hypno Twist cost 14 bucks by itself. Absolute bargain. And we cannot thank Mystery Tackle Box enough for taking care of us on today's video and helping to support this channel make more awesome content for you guys so let's get to fishing but first reinstall that after the wash rigged up the flat banger and the scam shad jerk bait on one of those hooks that came in the box it's been a minute since i fished these awesome urban ponds man a lot more grass than i remember i think i see a bass in the shallows i need to go grab my polarized glasses so it turns out it's not a bass i do see a turtle okay i just saw a little bass seen a lot of grass i'm gonna start off with the soft plastic jerk bait and this thing does look good so i'm working this just like a fluke or a jerk bait couple pops let it sit it's weightless right now essentially weightless texas rigged so i'm just letting it fall real slow it's definitely getting some eyeballs but it's smaller fish looking at it i need to get in front of a big bass all right i got a feeling this is gonna dive a little deep but let's just run the science experiment this is a three to six foot diver so this one's picking up grass because it's kind of a shallow spot for this so i might switch over to that other square bill that yozuri 
since it dives probably half as deep and it better imitates a bluegill, which is what some of these bass are feeding on in here. Definitely a reaction bait though. And when you cruise by some fish with this, I'm always getting hits on shad baits, whether it's clear water, stained water. So I have no doubts this will catch a fish, just not as easily as that shallow diver. Ooh, yeah. This looks a lot more like the fish that are actually swimming in here that I'm seeing on the bank. Sometimes the color makes all the difference, y'all. This thing looks too good. Palomar knot, 15 pound fluorocarbon. 12 pound is usually good for cranks, but I like something a little bit tougher in the uh, thick stumps and all the debris that we have out here in the ponds in our area. What's going on? Hey, man. Yeah. It's been a minute, huh? Record setting soft shell turtle. Thing is huge. Oh, that bass just came up for it and then he backed away. Dang it. I see him. Here we go. We're gonna go right by him. Got him. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say there's a decent bass right here that was like chasing me up a minute ago and then I ruined it. <laughs> Knocking out the first one on the crank. And despite the crazy food source we're seeing over here, this fish is not that fat. You'd think he'd be chowing on bluegills all day, every day, and just super plump. Uh, he's not. Yozuri getting it done, striking the first blood out here. Let's see if we can't get some more. Guys, so with the crankbaits, a shallow diver in a pond is just about all you're gonna be able to use. This is a 1.5 and kind of like a crawfish pattern and almost color. You really wanna use a rod with a slower tip. So a little bit more bend up there when you're using those treble hook baits. So this is kind of more on the softer end of the rods I would normally use as well as lighter line. That way you can get down to the full depth. If you're using braid with crankbaits, you won't get the same depth. If you're using mono, you won't get the same depth. Both of those lines float. And then also if you're using heavier fluorocarbon, you won't get quite as deep. So 12 pound again is what's kind of recommended. Or it's like when they base the ratings off of these crankbaits for depth, usually it's with 12 pound fluorocarbon. So I always just make sure I hold my rod at a 45, whether it's to the right or to the left. That way when they hit, there's already a little bit of tension from the rod. If you've got the rod kind of facing straight out and you're reeling right towards you, then it's just pulling on the drag of the reel rather than utilizing that rod to get that fish in. Now in the shallow waters, that thing's gonna get down into the grass. So I raise the rod tip up as I get a little closer. And then I even slow it down right as I get to the bank because I'm gonna need to pop it up and over that grass instead of just digging into all this stuff. You'll lose a lot of crankbaits as you just start cranking them, cranking them, cranking them with your rod tip down all the way to the bank. Let's just continue using the jerk bait. This is perfect for grassy ponds. Dang, Ryan got his first ever drop shot fish. Dude, it looks like a good one. Dude, that's a big one for the drop shot. Dude, that's like a three pounder on the drop shot. Ryan's getting his release on his three and a half pound pig on the drop shot. Wow. Like, yeah. Cruising. Crushing it, man. Heck yeah, man. Jeez, I'm fishing with you. <laughs> I'm not fishing over there. <laughs> you got a good one again, don't you? <laughs> Top water. I think I left the braid reel in the truck. I'm kind of confused as to what you're supposed to do with this. It doesn't really shake at all. I guess this is just designed for a certain type of bottom. Probably toss a craw on here. And uh, maybe this is meant for, I can imagine rock, but kind of tough to say. All right, y'all breaking out that hypno twist. Pretty cool. This tail basically just does circles and paddles through the water, causes a lot of commotion. Treble hook, so I think you'll miss less fish. Soft fins on the top and bottom. Realistic eyes, awesome paint job. This is called crazy bluegill, I think. <laughs> It's a bluegill or crazy bluegill. I mean, it looks like the, I mean, the color looks insane. Uh, if they're gonna hit top water here, they're gonna hit this. But the question is, is it a little too early? And will I be able to get a bite before I gotta go grab the hot tamale from storage? I wanna get over there and wipe it down, clean it off the Austin trip before dark. So I probably need to leave here pretty quick. Oh. All right, y'all wrapped up the fishing sesh with Ryan right before sunset, whipped over to the storage unit and I was gonna film more there. Uh, there was this family like a few units over that were trying to get their Supra into their unit. They're like wake and ski boat behind their Escalade into their unit. 
and it, because the units are so close together, it wasn't just like a six point turn to get their boat in there, it was literally like 35 minutes. I was wiping down the boat, I was getting it ready for the trip, I covered it. The whole time they were trying to put it in there, I felt bad. It's just a big boat for the storage units that we're in. They almost like nailed it on both sides. I don't know how they didn't scrape. You guys can probably hardly see me though at this point, so we're just gonna wrap things up back at the house. We're gonna get there, open up this box of Guggen Squad goodies, and that'll be that. Exposure composition check. Once we get this thing opened, how does this look right here? Should be pretty dope. We will lay everything out on the table. Okay, y'all, we are back, man, and here to close out the video, opening up the mystery box from the Guggen Squad. I am super pumped. In fact, I couldn't wait. I know I made y'all wait till the end of the video, but I'm actually filming this just after the intro because I was so curious to see what was inside of this box that, uh, yeah, sorry about that, y'all, but just, that's how it goes. The seal. Let's break it open and see what's inside of it. Ooh, what do we got, man? Team Guggen Elite. Anything in the side pockets? Process of elimination. Oh, snap. All right, we got some new Guggen Elite merchandise, baby. Check this out. Ooh, we got the golfer shirt. Got the hoodie. We got some new swag, man. <laughs> Holy smokes, more than I know what to do with. And I got a bag big enough for all my mystery tackle boxes. <laughs> oh, we even got the pant game going. Okay. You know this is my style pants anyway. Some of these joggers. Okay, these are zipper pockets. That's legit. And I'm in the joggers right now. They just don't say Team Guggen Elite. All right, man, sick. Team Guggen Elite, if you guys are not signed up already, Check out some of the Guggen Squad videos. They've got a link on how you can grab some of this merch right here. I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's episode. Also, big shout out to Guggen Squad for hooking us up with some new apparel that we can rock in these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>